Hello everybody, Spider here, DeFi Car Podcast. This is video blog number 13. I uh, wanted to go over uh, some of the fights that I was looking forward to uh, yesterday. Fury FC 68, of course, took place here in San Antonio. Uh, our legendary Cowboys dance song, uh, the home for mixed martial arts here locally. But uh, three fights, I'm going to go through, uh, from starting from the uh, the lighter fighter, of course. Uh, Eddie Friday, high def, uh, the guy is local to San Antonio is now four and two now me and Aaron Suarez uh, we had talked about the uh, possibilities of him getting picked up uh, he had hit a slump where he had two losses back to back and um, the guy's definitely shining I mean he is local he is hungry at 125 pounds man he definitely packs a punch um, you know four and two I mean even uh, my my take on this is him going getting picked up by uh, by the UFC through Dana White contender series I know they had a fighter just recently, of course. Uh, Dana said one more fight, and you know we'll look at him. But um, Eddie Friday, I mean, four and two record. Uh, he's coming in with a three fight win streak. So one more fight, even in the Dana White Contender Series, would be nice just to showcase and uh, to see uh, see if the big boys like what he brings, you know. But of course, you know the guy is uh, here at local San Antonio out of the uh, Unity uh, Training Facility, of course, with uh, Ray the Judge. And uh, next fighter, I'm, I was actually looking forward to man uh, Isaac Moreno. He actually fought uh, Sam Kilmer. Now, Moreno was coming in 3-0, and his opponent uh, 5-0. and So his opponent was a grappler, you know, he had, um, as a wrestler, he had a be better wrestling, wrestler's chance, as you, I should say. Uh, Brandon, uh, Isaac Moreno, of course, you know, the guy does train with Gracie Baja, does the, the groundwork, um, you know, submissions, defense, all that good stuff. And so I personally wanted to see this just to see, uh, to have him get tested. Uh, he's fought a bare knuckle guy, you know, in uh, for Fury. Um, you know, he's got some obviously some great wins. I mean, he's undefeated as an amateur, has the experience. Uh, you know, the guy's on a, on, a, on a rack, man. And right now, the fact that he was tested like that, I know he called it out another fighter, but um, I would say, you know, even now, I mean, he has the momentum to to go straight to the UFC. I mean, he would, I would definitely, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, prime time is his name, and he definitely brings it. Um, I mean, I, I felt like he had something to prove on this fight, and that was that uh, he can uh, defeat a, a wrestler, you know, especially with a win streak like that, because uh, momentum, man, you, you know, you take that from your, your opponent, and of course, you know, you take everything from him. But uh, Isaac Moreno, man, because of that, I see him getting picked up. Uh, Eddie Friday, I see him getting that, um, the, uh, the possibility of going to the uh, Dana White Contender Series. And uh, the last fighter on there, of course, was uh, Joel Bauman. Uh, the guy fought local, uh, still a fan of the guy, of course, Anthony Ivan. Uh, moved up in weight, you know, middleweight. And uh, Joel, Joel Bauman, I mean, the guy, the one thing I picked up from this fight that just happened uh, here yesterday was that uh, he wasn't afraid to uh, let the arms go, let the legs go. I mean, that's one of the things when when uh, a lot of these fighters, you fight a jiu-jitsu guy or a wrestler guy, um, or a wrestling opponent, should I say, is that they're afraid to get taken down. And... Because of that, I think he was able to, um, you know, take it to Anthony, man. I mean, obviously, he stunned him, he caught him, and, you know, he, he got that um, that win. You know, King Bao was his name. The guy's gone viral. Uh, of course, he's standing up for um, for what he feels is right, and by all means, he should. And uh, I, I like that from him. I mean, he obviously, he's got a following. He's got people behind him. He's got the athletic ability. I mean, having fought from the, uh, you know, Jackson Wink uh, gym in New Mexico, of course, he's got great coaches. So, um, and, you know, Joel Bowman, I mean, he's coming in, he has a two-fight win streak. Uh, his last fight, he fought for the uh, looking for a fight, you know, which obviously in front of Dana White. Um, it could have been a lot of things, you know, it could have been a bad weight cut, it could have been the nerves, you know. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, the guy is um, is on a streak, you know, he's on a two-fight win streak. Um, as of right now, he's 6-2, so he's got another possibility. To, <clears throat> he's also fought, excuse me, for the Game Bread uh, Fighting uh, Championship, of course, which is a uh, bare-knuckle MMA and he's fought for bare knuckle, so of course it tells you the guy's tough. You know, he's he's fought in all different uh, platforms, and uh, I see him getting picked up, getting the call, getting the invite to the Dana White Contender Series. So of course Eddie Friday four and two, Isaac Moreno four and zero, oh, and Joel Bauman. You know the guy's six and two now. So uh, we'll see. The uh, the rest of the card, of course, were freaking great. Uh, a lot of local talent, a lot of uh, uh, guys here in Texas getting um, getting pushed, getting tested. Um, Definitely experienced, man. But this is my take on the Fury FC 68 card. My three picks, the fighters that you should look up to, uh, forward to. And as always, you know, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, go to Instagram. Uh, we're on TikTok under 5Block210 and our Twitter as well as uh, YouTube channel. So subscribe, follow up, and until next time.